Hey guys, and welcome to another podcast. I'm Straya. And I'm Drew Doan. How are you guys doing today? And welcome to Shooting Star Media Podcast, Season 1, Episode... Number 6. six. <laughs> we are too blessed to be stressed to be here, guys. It is a... God, today's Thursday. It is a good day. We, uh, um, we, we're we doing really good. Yeah, We just yeah, came yeah. back from Palm Springs. Palm Springs was really great. The, 10 out of 10 experience. The mineral pools. Where did, where did we go again? We Sky went to, Valley, yes. No, just Sky Valley Resorts. Thank you so much for Sky Valley Resort Times Airbnb yes. for having us. We had an amazing time. It was the best, best time ever. We did so many activities. We yeah. de-stressed, decomposed all the, the bullshit. Pools. Like they have mineral pools, mineral showers, the hot tubs. And then we had a blast playing. We met so many people there. Yeah. And we played water ball. In this case, it would be um, Vol water, volleyball. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to became such an expert within that time that we, did, yeah. we were there. You know, in my childhood, I used to go to Palm Springs and uh, I used to play water volleyball there. But I was a youngster, right? And I couldn't even touch the net. You know, I was a little teeny, or I wasn't even a teeny bopper then. I was a, I was even a pre teeny bopper. Oh, I was a pre teeny <laughs> bopper. <laughs> if you can imagine, man. Yeah, I was cute back then. But anyways, um, yeah, I used to play water ball or whatever they want to call it, water volleyball, whatever it is. But shout out to Sky Valley Resorts. Thank you so we'll much for having January. us. We'll see you in January. Yeah, we'll we'll be back. That's cool. We'll, like we're bringing people. Like we're telling people about it. Because yeah. not just an amazing getaway in the middle of nowhere, but just you have to go and check it out. But it is. That's what makes it great. Yeah. It's literally in the middle of nowhere, but it has everything very close. But that's what makes it so great because it is in the middle of nowhere. Yep. And it's its own Zen oasis. Oh, yeah. And it has everything there, like its own little deli restaurant. Yeah. We yeah. actually the deli had was an phenomenal. amazing experience. Phenomenal, guys. We actually had an amazing experience because we had a, a, a private chef that cooked us a dinner. This oh, morning. yeah, yeah, yeah. Chef Steven. Shout out to Chef yeah. Steven. Thank Oof, you. Thank that you. ribeye steak. The ribeye steak was phenomenal. With the vegetable medley. And the potatoes. And, yeah. Oh. Them taters. We got them taters in there. And then he got this chocolate cake too. Yeah, the chocolate cake was finger phenomenal. looking good. Finger looking good. <laughs> I'm so, I got a little chocolate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Anyways. but definitely, thank you so much for having us. We yeah. totally love Palm Springs. Desert Springs. Hot Springs. Desert Hot Springs. Springs. Correction. Listen, there's like for some of you guys that aren't following in California, you guys have probably heard of Palm Springs. Palm Springs is like the getaway from Los Angeles, <laughs> right? But like the Hollywood stars, Elvis Presley, Marilyn Monroe, all the celebs came from. Los Angeles to get away. And they found these places called Desert Hot Springs. Okay. And they have great mineral waters there. Yeah. So, you know. About today's topic. What are we talking about today, Miss Stray Star? <laughs> we were talking about the okay. new year, <laughs> new me. All right. We've all heard this before. And I have to tell you guys, I mean, at the end of the day, new year, new me, that's all bullshit. So no, we are not referring to New Year, New Me. The real name should be called New Year, Real Me. The New Year, Real Me. Exactly. Why, Drew? Because, listen, you got to get real with yourself, period. Okay, let me explain. Why are you waiting until January 1st, 2024 to make a difference? Why don't you do it now? Have you ever heard of a running start? There's no better time to start now. Mm. In real estate, we have this thing. The best time to buy real estate was 30 years ago. The second best time was yesterday. And they say the same thing about trees. The best time to plant a tree was 30 years ago. The second best time was yesterday. Mm -hmm. So when's the best time to start? The best time to start was yesterday. Exactly. So, so you're behind today. on track. So let me go ahead and kind of rephrase yes. what he's talking about. Uh, why... A lot of people, and I've done it before in the past, I'm not saying I'm perfect or anything, but no, you know, when everyone says like, all right, guys, 2024 is coming. I'm going to start dieting starting January 1st. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get out of my toxic relationship. Oh. I'm going to start focusing on myself. I'm going to actually try. Eh, wrong. So don't try just do it. Just fucking go for it. Why do you have to wait until January 1st to hit the clock to start a diet? 
me in mind for those who follow me i've been doing the past six months the weight loss journey and i'm actually down a total of 18 pounds and i mean she's legal i 18 pounds legal <laughs> I just realized what you meant. <laughs> 18 pounds. So, and I'm going to keep going. And I didn't have this, um, this goal, obviously, yeah. and be like, January 1st, that's it. So, no, I didn't continue eating my delicious carbs and garlic cheese breads throughout. You know, of course not. Of course. Do I miss it? Do I like it? How'd yes. You get through Thanksgiving, man. I didn't. Actually, I'm going to show you guys this is what I ate. I had my turkey, my ham, my green beans. I didn't have stuffing. I didn't have my delicious garlic bread. No carbs. Everyone, no carbs. Keto wow. friendly. And my mom was even proud of me, like, you're not going to eat it no because at the end of the day like i already had the shit ton of fun you know it's time to open your eyes and i'm very motivated and i don't want anything like trigger or anything like oh my god i want something you know because no i don't need it so right now it's my new lifestyle there's one thing that you said through this whole thing and it's the word it's a three-letter word do you know what i'm talking about what? it's just a three-letter word it's T R Y. Try? Try. 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 So you I'm not need trying. to remove the word try out of your vocabulary. When was the last time you tried to take a vacation? When was the last time you tried to do something? You didn't do it. Right. You need to remove the word try and do it. In 2024, make it a goal to not use the word try, and I guarantee your life will be exponential better. Mm -hmm. Just say, I will do it. I will not try to do it. I will not try to be there. I will do it. Because if you say I try, it's going to be January 1st. In the end, you get busy. You get off work. Then you're like, oh, party mode. You know, it takes time to get settled yep. in. And then comes January 7th next week. Oh, I'll just tr I'll just do it on my, my yep. diet on next Monday. It's okay. We'll yep. start next Monday. Nope. And then and then comes along another week. That, oh, it, it's, it's, it's whoever's birthday. Let's have a cake. Oh, it's okay. I'll go ahead and start next week. Nope. And next week just keeps coming and coming and coming. Now. And then boom, where you're at? April. <sighs> and then it's okay. I had a fucked up 2024. We can try again on 2025. And it just repeats itself. But do you actually make your goals? Do you actually, I don't know if you know this, but like for Latinos, what I do in my com and in the community, when I have my New Year's Eve party, you have your champagne, right? And your champagne glass. And you put, uh, you need 12 grapes. Each 12 grapes, it's for um, every wish or every goal that you want to make throughout the year. 12 mm -hmm. grapes, one for every month. So, you know what? I, I want to go ahead and do this, this and that. So you eat the grapes. So that's a tradition that I do for my New Year's Eve party. Right. Awesome. So you always want to go how to make sure to do a vision board to be like, OK, I'm going to do it. Don't use the word try. Just get the fucking word try out of your vocabulary. Yeah. Get it out. Yeah. It, it, it has no business being in there, guys. Like I said, when was the last time you tried to do something? You didn't do it. Yeah. Straight up. Look at us. Last podcast. We try not to drink. Why we say try because we're not going to stop drinking. Cheers. Cheers. But anyways, so talking about the new year, real me, why real me? Why would you want to change? And I'm not saying like you're you because, you know, you're always going to be your own persona, but you have to be real. Be real for your work environment. Be real in your relationship. Be real with yourself. Don't try to change for anybody. Don't try to fake something and try to make it work because at the end of the day, it's just going to go and it's going to be a whole ton of bullshit, a whole ton of drama. Yeah, do it's not going to work out. So always be yourself because the person is always going to appreciate you or like you for who you are. So be real. And this year, focus on yourself. Be real. Don't fake it. Yeah. I mean, we, we have a saying, fake it till you make it. But guys, huh. how long can you do that? How long can you keep faking it? You absolutely have to start taking action. That's what it all is about. Taking action, all out massive action. Exactly. So what I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit personal. What are my goals for 2024? One, yes, I want to go ahead and continue my keto lifestyle, my weight loss journey, because my goal is to lose still 25 more pounds total. So that's one of my main Easy. top priority goals. Crush and it. I can do it because I've been doing it. I'm on the game. You will. And discipline 100 percent, and i'm taking accountability discipline. discipline what did you just say discipline. can you say that again discipline. let's hear that word discipline okay discipline is a big freaking deal guys like if you don't have discipline you are just mindless <laughs> you guys have to literally wake up every single day and have a plan 
Have a plan of action. What are you going to do in 2024? Exactly. Guys, we're going to come into 2024 like freaking Marines. You hear me? With M16s and we're coming in and taking 2024 by, by like, we're coming in like Marines, guys, okay? Because it's going to be our year. We have prepared 2023. You guys have done the same thing. And I hope, and if you guys have been following us for a long time now, you guys have known that we have taken all out massive action to get to this point, to get to the point where we can roll into 2024 and just dominate it. And it exactly. won't be that hard because we have what? Number one word, discipline. And with consistent discipline, what do you have? Momentum. Exactly. And something big for us and something that we have always tried to do as a team is getting that momentum. Oh. When that momentum is there, we keep going. Why? Because we want to be better than what we were That's right. last week. Yes. What can I do different? It's like you always have to have support. Yes. So I would like to say, I, I came up with this um, acronym. We could say SAVE. Okay. S for support. Okay. A for accountability. Support, accountability. V for vision. Vision. And E, excellence. Excellence. Save. Save. Put it together. Support, accountability, vision, and excellence. Wow. That's a good word. Save it. Save that one. Yeah. Because that's your four top things that you should be focusing on 2024. I'm going to start explaining support. If you have your parents, um, if you have your significant other, mm -hmm. your friends in your circle, you have to support one. Each Maybe other, it's us. Obviously. Maybe we're the support group. Yeah. Two, accountability. If I fucked up, I'm going to take accountability. Maybe we're if the I accountability up, too. You know what I mean? I think, okay. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and fix this. It's my bad. I take accountability. Never be in denial. Never. Vision. You always have to have a clear vision of what your goal, what your project, what you want to accomplish. And yep. that's what you have to do. This is your homework. You have to do this save for 2024. So fucking apply it. And excellence. Excellence as in Take the action. mood. Exactly. So that's what I think. That's what I think that everyone's task should be for 2024. Save. Save. I'll save that one. That's for sure. <laughs> So, what are your goals for 2024? Well, make a video that I will be making on my page. Please follow my page right there. You guys, if you guys aren't, you, I don't know what you guys are doing. Follow my page. It's great advice. Anyways, but some of my goals in 2024, well, goals for 2024 are all around real estate, growing my network because your network is your net worth is what I like to say. Mm -hmm. So it's not what you know, it's who you know. Okay. For some of you guys younger that are in college, it's not the grades you make. It's the hands you shake. Yes. You know, it's, uh, it, it's all about your influence guys. Who are you hanging around? You know, I like to say this, <clears throat> it's, you are the average, you are the sum of the five people that you hang around. If you hang around five doctors, guess what? You'll probably be the sixth doctor, you know, just in the group, just by default. That's the law of association. Because you're going to follow into their footsteps and they're going to talk about it. And after so much talk, you're going to get used to it and you want to follow that. But equally with that, if you hang around five bums, <laughs> what are you going to be, Miss Straya Star? <laughs> the sixth bum. That's right. You're going to be the sixth bum. And you don't want to be a bummer. Now, listen, guys. We might... I don't even probably have five doctor friends right now in my <laughs> life. But soon. Yet. I don't have five doctor friends yet in my life, but listen. But I can tell you a shit ton of list of bummers out there. <laughs> yeah, I, I got there. I got I got a whole yearbook full of them, guys. <laughs> Anyways, shout out. <laughs> Anyways, there. All right. So bringing it right back. Um, yeah, guys. I mean, you are the average of the people that you hang around. If you hang out with losers, guess what? You're going to be a freaking loser. <laughs> And don't be a loser for 2000. Like guys, there are so many free resources like YouTube videos. I mean, guys, listen, I, I know we, we go, we, we get deep, we get real, but listen, find something that's your speed. You know, yeah, if, yeah, if we yeah. aren't your speed, I get it. I, 
we we don't we don't appeal to everybody, but I like to think that we help a lot of people, and we do help. Of a lot course, of, of course, and we love watching a lot of inspirational videos on YouTube, Motivation. on Instagram. I mean, honestly, one of my inspirations and and words of wisdom coming from women is one of them that I follow is Elena Cardone. Mm. And and uh, also in men, there's Ben Mala. There's, yep. uh, well, you can give us yep. also a list of different Grant names. Grant Cardone. There's uh, Jocko Williams, Andrew Tate. We, the Tates are a big controversial subject, but guys, listen. You guys... In 2024, I hope that I'm going to set a goal for everybody in 2024. I hope that we all can go look in 2024 and just listen to people. Remove the bullshit, remove the propaganda, remove the politics, fuck all of it. Just listen to the message, whether it's from Republicans, Democrats, whoever you have it, it doesn't matter. All that literally matters is what are they saying? Find the aha moments, find the cookies. Yeah. Find the nuggets. Yeah. You got to sift through the sand to find the gold, but you'll find it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely. And then someone else that we also follow on Instagram that we really like. The, oh. the, he comes into comedy, professional, motivation, the yelling, just the everything. We get so hyped up yeah, with that. Yeah, Wes Watson. Yes, baby. Wes. You got yeah. to clap for yeah. Wes because he has really Way great to go, Instagram Wes, man. feed. Yeah. Um, most definitely very inspirational. If you, if you we'll don't follow him, him yeah. If you don't, you don't know him, make sure to follow him. He you, you're doing a great job, but let me just take it to that next level. Wes Watson was in prison for 10 years. Okay. And when you have 10 years of just sitting in a shoebox or being in solitary confinement for whatever crimes or whatever he got accounted for, whatever it is, that's it. That's the past. That's history. That was yesterday. We're working towards the future. His whole message is literally now about getting out of prison and where his life is now. And if you go look through his whole Instagram page where we're tagging below, you guys will absolutely see a man that started from zero, ground, nada, zero, and now nada to Prada is what I like to say. You know, listen, he's it's an inspiration to many. I mean, if you've been in in and behind bars. There's still opportunities yes. for you. Yes. I mean, it's it's not about where you start, ladies and gentlemen. It's about where you finish. Exactly. And it's a motherfucking process and it's a journey. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not easy. Nobody's just going to go park a Ferrari in your drive, give you a hot chick to go be with. Nobody's going to do that and put millions of dollars in your bank account. Nobody's coming to save you guys. 2024, are you guys going to make the difference? Yes or yes? Yes. 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 Double yes. Fucking yes. That's it, man. So, I mean, that's what I really have to say about 2024. Like, yeah. I'm freaking excited. And listen, guys, remember, don't start on January. Start now. 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 Get ready. Like, the end of, the, literally, today is November, November uh, 30th. It is Thursday. Yes. Thursday, November 30th, you have one month left, 31 days left to make a difference. End the year right to start fucking 2024 you know on what? the right note. You know, like when you get, okay, listen, we've all taken time off from the gym. Raise your hand if you've taken, smash the like button if you've taken. Hey, uh, I'll, two hands two up. Hands, <laughs> hands, two, I, I got two hands way up, man, way up there. Two hands. I am guilty beyond guilty. But you know when you get back into the gym and... You start feeling sore. And That's it, when you know it's working. But God listen, listen. Look, no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. Listen, listen. That's when most people quit when they feel the pain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You That's when yourself. you have to start. That's when 2024 mentality kicks in, ladies and gentlemen. When you start feeling the pain, when it starts, oh, getting uncomfortable. Guess what? You're growing outside of your comfort zone. Yeah. yeah. You know how I just started working the legs and the hips and everything sure. at the gym? Yeah. And I told you, I was like, oh my God, I can't walk. Yeah. I'm past that. And now it's like. Every day. Oh my God. It's just daily habits. Yeah. What are your daily habits? Are your daily habits eating Twinkies or doing <laughs> push-ups? It's that easy. Frying Twinkies. Frank Whatever. Twinkies. Well, the fair isn't here right now. So, I mean, if you're deep frying Twinkies <laughs> on your own, I don't know, man. You got to watch this podcast twice or something. So if you're having a hard time on the schedule, this is what you do. <laughs> Set up some alarms, like get in the habit of like, for example, where are you? 
Get up early. Just take Stop fucking accountability. In. So God take accountability damn it. from five to six. From five to five thirty, hit the gym. What from are you doing 5 in the morning, man? From five thirty to six, hit the jacuzzi if you have a jacuzzi or if you have the opportunity, and then hit the sauna. For Use at your least neighbor's 30 jacuzzi. Minutes. They won't just mind. <laughs> You're motivated. <laughs> And then, so just get in the order. And then if you work from home or you have to go to the office, try and calculate. Yeah. Like, where just are you it. at 8 a.m.? What are you doing at 9? What time are you taking your lunch break? So there's always opportunity in the day. Sometimes we do so many things. It's like, shoot, we need more than 24 hours in a day to edit videos, to post, to do our regular work. Because we also have a regular job, not only besides this. So it's like, get yeah. everything in there. Like, if you're doing 9 to 5 p.m., what are you doing from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m.? Like, Ooh, do your fucking wait. hobby. Do stuff. Wow. Because make 2024 a, differ a difference. Yeah. What are you doing from 5 to 9? I'm drinking. What are most people doing? <laughs> you can't do that. You're, you're not drinking. You're doing fucking a podcast. You're doing exactly. important things, yeah. man. You know, don't discredit your talent. Because you're very talented, Mistreya Star. Like you have amazing, oh, you. amazing That's attributes. True. So, cheers. Oh, cheers! I'm way ahead of you. I'll catch up. Don't worry. <laughs> but anyways, guys. So that's your task. Save 2024. Get it fucking started. Like definitely. And now for a very important uh, topic to our next part of the podcast we are going to be talking a little bit about something that i do in in my real life well, not real life but as, a, as my real job right i work in the finance uh, industry and drew yep. is going to be taking one of our topics for today he's going to give us a little bit of news that he yep. follows on instagram on youtube things that pop up on notifications because he's very interested in this subject and it's really really well known and it can be kind of like controversy as well because some people think it's a scam. Some people think it's a waste of time. But this is the new thing that's coming. And every time there's a new year, new stuff is happening. What's going to happen to money eventually? Is this specific coin going to be really our new money? So I'm going to go ahead and let Drew take this about Bitcoin. All right. Well, let me, let, well, let's, let's talk. We'll, we'll get into the Bitcoin topic. But let me let me talk a little bit about this, guys. Is your dollar going up or is it going down? Listen, how much how much is gasoline where you're at? You know, these these are all very important questions. You know, what is inflation like? And, you know, I, I real I, we are really going to avoid getting into political topics oh. or anything like that, because, yeah. listen, you know, guys, every it's a motherfucking journey. You know where you're at. I don't give a shit. Just keep moving forward. Just keep going forward. But. In my world, I, I've noticed that my dollar doesn't go as far as it used to. I used yeah. to be able to buy some six packs with my dollars, but now I can only get a, I don't know, a three pack or something. Some maybe, beer? maybe I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't really drink beer, but I just noticed that the prices are going down. I know that eggs are, or excuse me, the prices are going up. Eggs are getting more expensive. Gas, everything's getting more expensive. So what are you guys doing to combat that? You know, listen, most people just sit in their house and they're just literally like, it doesn't matter what's going on in the White House because that they're just the government. The government will take care of us. Listen, you guys have to get in front of it. You guys have to take control of your future. Now, we're not financial experts. We're not giving any financial advice. We're just saying what we see and what we think works. And what we live. I mean, if you're in California and San Diego County, we're looking at gas prices up to even, depending if you get regular. How much are those Cali California burritos going up? Do That's you, the question. Like, do you remember when California burritos were, were like $8? $8 and yeah. now it's like $16 and depending on the Mexican yeah. joint that you yeah. go to, like seriously, what the fuck? It's a hole guys, in the wall It's Mexican place. food. Like. Yeah, come on, guys. It's a, you, you, <laughs> they, hit the, they hit the cow on the way to work and they cooked it up. You know, it's roadkill. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Like, seriously, guys, gas is ridiculous. We're looking at, I don't know, the cheapest one that I've seen is like around 585. And then the highest one that I've seen is about 659. Yeah, depending on the county that you're at in California. And other states are paying like got anywhere between ton like of Los three Angeles to four dollars. Oh my God. Los Angeles, God bless you guys. Amen. Amen. Amen to Los Angeles, guys. Be, be safe up there. You know, it's wild. <laughs> um, but let me let me get into some some ways that you guys can combat the word inflation, 
um, you know, kind of get ahead. Um, some people consider it a scam, as uh, Ms. Strea Starr said. Uh, but listen, it's been around since 2008. It has been that long already? 2008, it was developed. Okay. You guys probably have kids that are older than that. Okay, watching this. You guys may have been born in 2008 that are watching this. But all I'm saying, guys, if something is a scam, it doesn't last too long. Am I right or am I right? No, you're, you're right. 100% right. right. So some of you guys might have guessed it. Maybe you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but now you guys learned something. It's called Bitcoin, ladies and gentlemen. Bitcoin. Not talking about Ethereum, not talking about anything else, because... Mm. I believe Bitcoin is truly key. Is it slow on the transaction? Sure. But listen. Now, uh, Drew, I got to interrupt you here because I'm not an expert at this. And, yeah. and I'm going to yeah. say I'm a little yeah. bit ignorant when it comes to this. I mean, I'm getting the old school, you know, the math and the finance industry dollar with bills. all of that dollar bills and credit cards yeah. and all of that with loans. But when it comes to the actual digital money, mm -hmm. right? Bitcoin. What can you explain to us in the audience who don't know what Bitcoin I'm gonna is? I'm going to give you guys... Been? A great analogy. Some of you guys might have not known, or maybe you guys weren't born yet, but people didn't just swipe their credit cards. Okay. People used cash. Yeah. So when a credit card came out, everybody was against credit cards. They're <laughs> like, why am I using a damn credit card? You know, the, they can track what I'm spending, this, it seems like a scam, all these things. But guess what? How many people use a credit card today? How many people don't use a credit card and use Apple Pay and use Samsung Pay and all these things? Look at the transition, ladies and gentlemen, and go look at the propaganda that they're saying about this stuff. Okay? Yeah. People are saying these cryptocurrencies are a scam, but I'm literally going to show you a chart right here where it's literally the United States of America is the fifth largest holder of Bitcoin, ladies and gentlemen. They are literally saying that they don't buy Bitcoin, don't buy Bitcoin, but they are one of the biggest the hodl hodlers of Bitcoin. And for, the, for those Bitcoiners out there, hodler is a term where you just have diamond hands, where you're just holding on to that thing, no matter up, when it hit 65,000 and went down 15,000, some of you guys sold, some of you guys had to, you know, liquidate to do things, but some of you guys may have held on to it. And now you guys are seeing a great appreciation. And I've seen a lot of things. And that's Bitcoin. why we're talking about it right yeah. now, because Bitcoin's big on the news right now. It's back up on the rise. And right now, if you guys go run all those CNN, Fox News, all those business channels telling you not to buy it in 2016, what are they saying? They're paying attention to it. Right. They're following it. Yeah. So I want to know something and correct me if I'm wrong. So with Bitcoin, it's a whole new version of money, yes. right? So, and I've seen this because on online, it gives you an option to pay. Like if I go online shopping, it'll tell me, do you want to pay with debit card, Don't um, spend it. credit card, or if you want to go ahead and uh, do it like, you know, stuff or even Bitcoin. Throw your cash out. It's, it's, yep. it's now coming up and I see more Bitcoin ATMs like yep. a gas station. Yep. So I feel like personally it's like growing and growing That's and right. even makes me want to go into a little bit of Bitcoin and start investing on that. Like to be honest with you, I haven't even tried it out yeah. because I've been kind of, I could say I can be kind of a little bit scared, you know, with all the comments and the reviews sometimes, but, scary. but like I said, sometimes you got to take a risk and I think that's going to be kind of my little goals for 2024 you know, to start off small with Bitcoin. It's, it's, <clears throat> It's a way to combat inflation, guys. I mean, listen, it literally went from $15,000 up to $37,000 within, I don't know, four or five months. Imagine you bought it at $15,000 and went up to there. You bought one coin. What's that appreciation? Yeah. Those are some big boy numbers, okay? Listen, what would that, what would that difference change in your life? An extra ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. And guys, listen, it's not, we're not going to tell you guys, like, Money's everything, but it, it's it's oxygen. You need money. Money is important because okay? you need money to live. Exactly. Yes. And this is something that I want to bring up a little bit, right? When people say money doesn't buy happiness, I don't You've know. Heard that, yeah. right? They don't know where to shop. Where do you? What do you think of that? What do I think about that? Oh man, you, you just you just putting the ball on the tee for me. Woo! I'm gonna knock it right out of the park. Um, 
If you don't think money doesn't buy happiness, you don't know where to shop. Straight up. I have a question. Yeah. Does food make you happy? Of course. Does traveling make you happy? Sometimes if there's no, you know, bullshit TSA problems. Do watches make you happy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. And all Answer of that, is yes. And all of that is purchased. What about what? Starbucks? What about Starbucks, guys? What about Dunkin' Donuts? What about all these things, guys? And money, what is that bought with? Money. De and, and if it makes you smile, it makes you? Money. Happy. Makes me happy. So money equals happiness. happiness. Very simple. And many people say money doesn't buy happiness. I just say you don't know where to shop yet. Because <laughs> listen, I bought one of my nephews a wallet today. Oh, I know. It's so cute. He's a wonderful person, man. He, he's a little kid. And I had to pay money to go buy a wallet. I always think it's funny whenever I go spend money to go buy a wallet because I'm literally spending money to go put money in that wallet. wallet right? it's, it's kind of a I jumbo shrimp, right. oxymoron. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes I feel like a moron when I'm doing an oxymoron. Putting money in a wallet, you know what I mean? So, uh, um, yeah, what, what did I have to do? I had to spend money to go buy that wallet. And But did it make me happy to go do that for him? 100%. It was probably one of the best part of my days today next to this podcast because it really gives me a lot of value giving yeah. back. But seeing a little kid have a smile on his face and listen, it doesn't cost that much. You know, little kids are simple. Like get big smiles out of us. Sometimes it costs a few bucks. <laughs> you know, you just get older and your toys get bigger. But listen, that's what oh. makes money. That what, that's what makes the world go round money. Yeah, most definitely. So you just got to learn where to shop. But listen, guys, let me let me just get it back right into Bitcoin. Let's let's go right back in there, guys. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Please listen, do. it's been around since 2008. We're, you know, what year are we in again? 2023. <laughs> oh, OK. 2023. <laughs> if you ask me, you know, that's a few years old, you know, even if it was born in 2018. That's a few years old, ladies and gentlemen, but it now has over a five-year track record, over a 10-year track record. And I just say, listen, are you guys going to get left behind or are you guys just going to keep saying that's a scam and just be ignorant and not look at this stuff? Or are you guys going to take action and make a difference? You know, and guys, listen, we don't have anything to sell you. We don't make any money with you guys buying Bitcoin. This is truly just us sharing Life experience. Our experiences yeah, yeah, yeah. and what we've seen. But listen, I guarantee you, you guys go drop a couple hundred dollars. Maybe go drop a go drop a Benji in there, damn it. You go drop a Benji on a bar tab. Go drop a Benji in a Bitcoin. How about that? And just go watch that Benji double. Go watch it grow. Just just don't, sacrifice a bar tab and buy a Bitcoin. Sacrifice a Friday night. Simple. Simple, ladies and gentlemen. Because you know? then you can have many Friday nights Amen. out of that investment. It's a season of sacrifice for a lifetime of freedom. Exactly. They say that your 20s are to make sacrifices. Mm -hmm. And then when you grow older, it's where you enjoy those sacrifices. The fruits of your labor. Exactly. Of course. Of course it is, guys. I mean, you know, some of you guys are <laughs> a little bit older and you guys might be missing the ball. But... Listen, Colonel Sanders didn't start till he was 60 years old. Ray Kroc, who, Colonel Sanders, look, look, I know our audience might not know these people. <laughs> Colonel Sanders is the founder of Kentucky, Kentucky Fried, Fried Chicken. Chicken, KFC, baby. I love that chicken. <laughs> Woo! You love that fried chicken. I love that fried chicken. And then Ray Kroc, McDonald's. Listen, I don't eat as much McDonald's anymore Woo! as, you know, as I'm a, healthy individual but nothing against mcdonald's sometimes we're on a road trip and hey we gotta <laughs> swing in there and get them fries i love them fries baby but ray Kroc didn't start till he was 55 years old guys he was an old man in consideration yeah it, it you don't have to be great to start you just have to start in order to be great let mm -hmm. me say that again Exciting. you don't have to be great in order to start but you have to start in order to be great. Exactly. Up. Good, 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 good. So what else can we know in the uh, in the finance department here since you're taking 
about that with Bitcoin? What what else can we know that you've heard and gossip and you know, I mean, I just say keep it simple. A lot of people like to get fancy. What's this crypto coin, you know? Cryptocurrency. Excuse me, not 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 you know, they, they come out with these coins like Shiba coins and you know, uh Ethereum's in my opinion. And I just consider them shit coins. That's what I call them, shit coins. Because <laughs> where you guys have to understand this. Let me explain this. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of history about Bitcoin. I'll make it very simple for the attention span of people. But let me, let me explain it. Listen, Bitcoin mining is how you make Bitcoin. Literally high-powered computers that are solving mathematical equations on the thing called the blockchain. And literally, they get the token. Once they solve the mathematical equation, they receive the coin called the Bitcoin. Now you have the Bitcoin in your wallet. Wow. That's the creation of Bitcoin. Now, I know every four years, the stock, well, no, the Bitcoin difficulty level uh. gets greater. At one point, it was $6,000. And then the difficulty level had to increase. So what happens when a stock splits? It basically doubles. So mm. from 6,000, it went to 12,000. That's currently where we're sitting. Let me pull this up and I can show you guys right up here on the screen. It's called the Bitcoin having countdown. There's currently 161 days before the next Bitcoin having. And if you put that up there, you guys will see that's somewhere around May of 2024. What will happen at that point, the difficulty level to mine the Bitcoin will literally double. I, I'm going to say it again. It will literally double. And for you guys that are intellectuals, you guys will be like, Oh my God, it makes sense. The coin's literally at $12,000. If, if the coin is above $12,000, Bitcoin mining's profitable. Now, it's going to be $24,000. Right mm -hmm. now, Bitcoin's at $37,000. So we're above that level right, right. now. But it's still a good time, guys, because it's just going to keep climbing. It hit $60,000. And if you guys don't think it's going to hit 60,000 again, you guys are going to be you guys are going to be saying next time when I say Bitcoin has to be 50,000 in order to be profitable for Bitcoin mining, you guys are all going to be left behind within 4 years if you guys don't take action. Period. Wow, that's like a lot of information so, taken. I know it's a lot. I know. I know sometimes I go a little hard, but that's what makes that's what makes me great because I can get in there and talk about raw things because this is, you know, I'm showing you guys literally on charts and everything, everything right here. You guys can see over the last five years, the way that Bitcoin has, the trajectory has gone. And people don't think that it's going to do the same thing. Impressive. Impressive. Well, I have a lot of questions about it. A lot of people in the audience have yeah. questions about it because it's such new digital money yeah. and it's going to happen. That's going to be the future. If you guys have questions about it, don't be afraid to comment down below. Ask questions, comment, like, subscribe, DM me, guys. DM her. DM Straya Star. She'll a she'll answer the questions. I'll tell her what the answers are. I'll just pass what the hell is a Bitcoin? Well, watch the video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put that tongue back in there, girl. Save it. <sighs> what are you doing? Cooling you down. I am cool down. Well, cool down even more. Come when are we going to see Stray and Drew again on the red carpet? Yep. Guys, we're really excited. Yep. Yep. You guys yep. are going to see us for the Christmas party celebration for the magazine that we're in. Imagen Latina magazine on Thursday, December the 7th at El Farallon event venue center in Linwood, California. Mm. And we're going to do it again. It's going to be a red carpet. We've been really focusing on shooting stir media yep. uh, podcasts. So mm. we're really excited to be interviewed by different media outlets. I'm and ready. we definitely want to thank um, Roberto Born Carrillo ready. for always this opportunity for supporting not only me as thank an you, artist, Roberto. but now together as our, our podcast so we're definitely looking forward and if you want to go ahead and make sure to purchase your ticket this is going to be a toy charity event for anyone Aww. who wants to help the kids during this time Children. um so definitely support send love make sure to follow imagen latina here yes 
So we're really excited. I um, can't wait. I love these red carpet events. I literally just get to talk to all my friends there in the media industry <laughs> and they get to ask questions and we, we get to catch up. It's like, it's a really oh, fun, yeah, fun yeah, 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 most definitely. And we definitely want to go ahead and make a shout out to everyone who's always supported us yes. together in the media industry. Want to make a special shout you. out to the people in Los Angeles. Yep. Want to make a special shout out to people who have collaborated with Shooting Star Media and who has helped us yes. like Abraham, Kimberly, and wow. Ruby. They're always with us on the red carpet Thank you events. Guys behind the scenes so sending him home to the end for this podcast i hope you really enjoyed a little bit of finance about new year real me and our dream. fucking holidays Happy and holidays, can't people. wait to see you for the next podcast God on bless. december cheers huh? ready yeah i'm ready we quilled it we quilled